Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Coming at you today with 1 Kings chapter 19. And it will not be a 30 minute message. The way I introduced that didn't sound like a 30 minute message, and that's because it's not. Today it's going to be a simpler message. I simply did not have time today to prepare the entirety of a 30 minute message. I have something that is on my heart that I want to convey in regards to revival. The message from the last few days and reading the story of Elijah has really put something in me. And I want to give it to you guys, and I want to give it to you good. Not really prepared to do that today. And for the full honesty to come out, it's because after I spent time with the Lord and thought about the topic, I was like, well, let me play a little bit of Dark Souls. And yeah, uh, that took up the rest of the day. So here I am at the end of the day, getting ready to go to bed, and I'm tired, and I'm not really mentally like in a place where I can put together a full sermon of good quality. No wise cracks about my normal quality. What are, you, what are you doing? What do I want to hear from any of you guys? David? Becky? What are you that No. You're not allowed. I want to hear it. 1 Kings chapter 19. We hear a little bit of Elijah's humanness. A little bit of his weakness. I quoted in James the other day that Elijah was a man with the same nature as us. Let's take a peek at his sinful nature, his weakness. 1 Kings 19, verse 1. And Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done, also how he had executed all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah, saying, So let the gods do to me, and more also, if I do not make your life as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time. And when he saw that, he arose and ran for his life, and went to Beersheba, which belongs to Judah, and left his servant there. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness, and came and sat down under a broom tree. And he prayed that he might die, and said, It is enough. Now, Lord, take my life, Excuse me, for I am no better than my father's. This dude had called down fire from heaven. And now he's running because the queen is like, I'm going to take your head. And he's scared. That sounds a bit unbelievable. And I would, bring it, I would like to bring into account and bring to your mind the same way that the Israelites were able to disobey God when his presence was directly there. Elijah felt very real fear and ran for his life, even though he had directly been used by God in a display of great power. Miracles don't get rid of sin nature. They don't get rid of temptation. They don't get rid of fear. They don't get rid of depression. They don't get rid of weakness. They don't get rid of natural things that are not sinful, like the need to breathe, eat, sleep, drink. People who are used by God in mighty, miraculous, healing, powerful ways, they're still sinners, and they still need the basic necessities of life that every human being does. They're not supermen. Yes, this dude called down fire from heaven, and yes, he ran for his life once the queen threatened him. And I think I could, I think I could make a very good case for Jezebel probably had a very strong spirit of intimidation and fear. She seemed to be the one who ran the show. In fact, Jezebel is a name in infamy because of how bad a queen she was and how evil a woman she was. So there was probably, with her devotion to, the, to Baal and Asherah and those other foreign gods, she probably had a few demons on her side, more than likely. And Elijah gave in to weakness. He gave in to temptation and fear and ran. And, yeah, God used him to raise the dead, call down fire from heaven, proclaim a drought that crippled a kingdom. God used him for all those things, and he was a weak man who wanted to die once he felt threatened. So, you know, take courage, be of good cheer, take heart. You're not the only weak one out there. Those who are strong, those who are in authority, they have their weak times too. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you. Sorry it wasn't the full 30 minutes. I'll get that out to you guys very soon, and God bless.